All right, we're on a bullet train. Uh, we took a van from uh, Tuscany to Rome, and then the train from Rome, we're heading down to Naples. What can we expect to see in Naples? Naples is a raw, passionate city. People that care about food and living life at the highest level. Uh, there's an intense energy to Naples. It's not for the weak-hearted, but uh, it's a place where- What does that mean? It's dangerous? It's a dynamic place. It is uh, ever moving, ever changing. Should we be going there? Yes. Okay. All right. You excited? What are you yes. excited for? This is the this is a great day. I mean, we woke up in my favorite town on earth. We had lunch at Auto Grill over the Italian Auto Strada, and now we're on a train to Naples to enjoy my favorite pizza on the planet. I'm looking forward to this pizza. You should be. We've had nothing but, uh, and it's been great, but we've had a lot of steaks and a lot of pastas, and I'm just ready, ready now for pizza. We've been looking forward to this pizza for the entire trip. There's pizza available all over Italy, but no one does it quite as well as Naples. In my Were you a big fan of the song La Vida Loco when it came out? No. The Ricky Martin hit? Because it's no. really what you talk about all the time, is living La Vida Loco. I'm talking about like Dolce Vita. You're talking about the crazy life. I talk about the sweet life. In this very moment, we are living a Dolce Vita. We are enjoying the romance of European dream travel. How is this romantic? This feels exactly like we're on an Amtrak train. And you would never say the romance of an Amtrak train. No one's ever said the romance of an Amtrak train. Maybe Joe Biden, but that's it. No one talks about the romance of Amtrak. And here we are on the same kind of train, but because we're in Europe, you say it's the romance of European travel. How is this romantic? We are two men Don't hurtling stop. through the Italian countryside at a high speed, watching the world go by outside our window like it was great cinema. Yeah, but wouldn't the same thing be happening if we were taking a, a train from Cleveland, you know, to uh, Detroit? Wouldn't we... Wouldn't you say the same thing? We are two men hurtling? I don't take trains from Cleveland to Detroit. That's not the point. You and I don't take trains together from Cleveland to Detroit. We're going from Rome to Naples. Do you see any difference in the romantic value of traveling from Rome to Naples versus traveling from Cleveland to Detroit? I think you're a snob. I think you're an anti-American snob. The same experience had in America means nothing to you. And then here we are on an Amtrak train going past, oh look, yeah, there's some kind of highway and there's some steel structures zipping by and suddenly you talk about the romance of it all. You are a snob. Is it you, are a, you are an anti-American snob. Now look, it's a tunnel. So this would be a tunnel of love and romance, right? Everything's romantic to you. But look, this is a train ticket in Italy sense its inherent romance. It's the same ticket in America would be well, a piece of filth, a piece of... That is, there's plenty of romance in this ticket. Uh, it has a different language on it. It has a smell. It, it, tells, a, a, it tells no. a story. Nope, it has no smell. You always say that. You say things have you a smell. smell. Nothing. You smell yeah. nothing? Yeah. What do you smell? Do you smell anything? Yes, I, there's like a plastic coating on it for durability. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's got ink on it. I, I mean, uh, you don't think in, in in its own way this could be a work of art? You know, a free-thinking artist could make an installation of European train tickets that he's collected over the years. This will go in my collection. I could imagine myself having a mural one day of this uh, of these travels. Maybe we sign this. Maybe we write our names. Memory the experience. Yes, I could find romance in anything, you know? I need that. The conductors. Oh, is that true? Yes. Oh, that's a problem for you. You have to tell people that you ripped this up as a joke. No. No. That's your problem. You have my ticket right here. <laughs> you don't seem to like America very much, which begs the question why don't you just move here and live here? 
that's up. based on a presupposition which is incorrect. I can't respond to your presupposition because the presupposition itself is inaccurate. I mean, you look at a toilet right. in Italy and you think it's a great sculpture. Well, the toilet. You look at, you look at the, the same. You look at the same toilet in America and you just see a toilet. Yeah, I to see me, a toilet just, without a bidet. To me, that, that's inefficient. Nobody thought of including a bidet of a why method you, of washing. Why do you need a bidet? If, if you had a human soil. Human soils? What are you talking about? If you had... Had what? Human soil on your arm, would you be content to wipe it off? What? <laughs> You're talking about feces. What do you call it? Human soil. Why do you call it feces? Because that's an actual term that people use. Excrement. Shit. Why, why did you say human soil? That's a term I use. Just weird. No one says human soil. I do. How many people have to say it you for call, it not to be weird? You call I say human soil. You knew what I meant. Language is a means to an end. It's a means to communicate. I successfully communicated my ideas. You, you so, have a problem with the method that I communicate. When you have too yeah, much you to understood eat, when you have too much to eat, some time passes. Do you say, "Excuse me, I need to go to the men's room to make some human soil"? Do you say, "I have to go to the men's room to make feces"? <laughs> look, he's losing it again. You're losing it again. Your eyebrows get crazy. If you, you look insane. You, if you had human soil on your arm, would you be content to just wipe it off with a napkin and no. go about your day? No. Maybe you want to soak it in water. What is your problem? I don't have a problem. You're, why do I, you're completely I, cracking up. You're cracking up what, right now. On why a train. is that a problem? You're a freak on a train. We are on vacation. Why shouldn't I crack up? Do you want me to be miserable? No, I are just don't know. Are you miserable and if somebody else is cracking up, that's a problem? For you. What I'm saying is. If you had human soil on your arm, yeah. I'd like to wash it off with soap and water. Yeah. Okay, if you so handed me a tissue so and said, this will take care of your problem. <laughs> what? Get in close, get in close. What? Get in close on him. Get in close on I'd him. Say, I'd say maybe I'll go wash it with soap and water instead. You can keep your tissue. <laughs> so. You're frightening me, you're having a whole... Meltdown. Hello. You're having a meltdown. Talking about a bidet. And it's no, used. And it, yeah, it, it's, it's indispensable. But why is that? It's indispensable. Well, why I'm you... enjoying my time with you. Do you understand? Now, I'm scared of you. Freak.